Hello everyone, Aziz here, and in this video I wanted to show you how you can create a quality landing page using Easel's in-browser web design app. So, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do in our blank document is drag in a fluid container. Now with this, our landing page will resize depending on the window size of the user. Uh, now with the fluid container, we can adjust the width by dragging on the blue dots. We can also choose to adjust the height by dragging down the blue dots accordingly. Now if we want to select both height and width, we can drag the bottom corner and bring the fluid container wherever we'd like. This goes the same for any other container element that we're using in Bootstrap. Now I'm going to leave those alone, however I do want to bring my container down from the top, so in the margin I'm just going to bring that down a few pixels. I can also adjust using my arrow keys. Now with my fluid container placed, I want to place a header for my landing page. So I'll drag in the page heading, delete up the subheading, and I'm just going to make my header something like fast and accurate credit reports. Now I can also adjust the background of my header. By going to background, I can adjust the opacity. I can also adjust the brightness of my background. I can also choose to go with fill or with the gradient. And then in the gradient, I just select which part of the gradient I want to adjust. And using the color wheel, I can adjust the color for the beginning and ending color of my gradient. So for this background, I actually want something that's going to be like a bluish green, uh, something that's going to look similar to the offer page for this particular offer. So it blends in real well with the flow. So once I have that set, I also want to change the roundness in the background uh, for this heading. So I want to go with something like 15 pixels, and as you can see, the corners have been rounded off. Now I want something a little bit more, so I'm going to change that to 30 pixels and actually make the bottom corners flat. So I'm just going to set those to zero. And now we have something that looks a little domish. Now as you can tell, since I adjust the corners, my text is kind of sticking out. So I'm going to change the line height of my text uh, and I'm just going to use the arrow keys to kind of move my text down a little bit. Now it's a little bit too far to the left, so to adjust that, I'm going to just go over to padding and use my arrow keys to adjust that accordingly, just so all the text fits in that dome area. Next, I want my text to stand out against the blue. So I'm just going to go up to color so I can adjust uh, how the text looks. So making it a little bit brighter, I'm going to make this text a bright yellowish color. So it stands out, contrasts a little bit more with the blue. So once I've adjusted that accordingly, that seems pretty good. Uh, now I notice that that's not really standing out too much. So I'm going to adjust a few other things like the shadow. So I'm just going to go up to text shadow. And here in the blur, you can change the blur or the spread of the shadow, uh, as well as the, uh, the offset of the shadow. So we can bring it down further away from the text. And once we've dragged that out, we can then use a style to adjust the angle of the shadow. So mess around with that a little bit, see what you like, and then, um, yeah, just go with it. Go with whatever looks good. So we just can hit OK. And we've got a text that stands out. Next, I just want to adjust the font to something that sticks out a little bit more, and then we're good to go. We have a good headline. And then I'm going to drag in a container that's going to act as the body for my landing page. So I'll just drag in, drag in a fluid container, and then I'm going to drag in a row that's going to have two columns. On the left, I want some text, and then on the right, I want to create a form for my landing page. So on the left, I'm just going to place in a heading, and this is going to act as my strap line. So I'm just going to go with monitor uh, your let's go credit score today. Now with my strap line in place, I want to create a uh, bullet point list. So I'll just drag in this element here. Then I can adjust this accordingly. Now earlier I actually grabbed a uh, bullet point list from before. So I'm just going to paste that in real quick to save some time. Then I'll just uh, hit enter here for those new bullet points. Just to adjust this a little bit more. And then we got something that looks just like this. Now, I want this text to stand out a little bit more, so I'm just going to quickly change the font uh, size and bring that up a few pixels. 
And then I'm also going to change the line height to kind of space out the text a little bit more, make it a little bit easier to read. Next, I want to create a form to the right here. So the first thing I'm going to do is drag in a well container, and then I'm going to drag in a form container. The well is just going to act as a background. Uh, once I've dragged in my form, I want to drag in a control group. So it's going to, that control group is going to include a form label and then an area for some kind of uh, fill out. So for this, I have an email. And then in that red space there, I want to actually drag in some text where the user can type in their email. So once I place that in, I'll change that placeholder to your email. And now we have a little email box for the user. Next, I want to place a uh, date of birth for the user. Uh, just make this a little bit more authentic. So form label, we'll change that to date of birth. And then in that red space, we're actually going to place a couple of select boxes. Now these select boxes are just drop down boxes. We can adjust what is going to be in there with the uh, options on the right. So what shows is going to be the top of the list. I have month. Uh, for my next select box, I want the user to be shown of course, the day, so I'll change the top to day. And then for the last select box, I want to create a year for the user. So one more select box, delete the content, put in year. Uh, now the next thing we need to do is we need to create a drop down list for that user. So actually what I have over here in the spreadsheet is just all the content I want for each list. So for the month, I'm just gonna paste in uh, the months of the year. Same thing with day, I'll just put one through 31. Paste that in, and then you get the idea. Same thing for the year. Next, I wanna create a call to action. So I'm just gonna drag in a button here. And then I can also take this time to edit the button. So I'm gonna make this call to action, get free credit reports. Something just plain and simple. Uh, it doesn't really matter. You can go in and adjust whatever you'd like. I can fit any amount of text. Then I'm going to change the button size to large. I want to make the text just stand out a little bit more. So I'm going to change the boldness to just bold. Uh, and then I'll increase the font here a few pixels. And then I want to go into changing the color of the button, make it stand out a little bit more from the landing page. So once I have the gradient selected, I'll just change my two gradient colors to something that stands out. There we go, we just have a regular CTA. Now just real quickly, I want to adjust uh, just how my form box looks, so I'm just gonna adjust the width and the height there. Next, I wanna make my form stand out, so I'm just gonna add a little box shadow, kind of the same I did with the text there in the headline. So I'll just adjust that a little bit, just to make the form box uh, stand out a little bit more, drawn some more attention, also drawing in more attention to my CTA. There we go. Next, I actually just want to change the roundness of my form a little bit. And then I'm going to add a checkbox. It's just uh, one more thing that's going to affirm to the user that uh, they really want this offer. So just something small like, yes, I want a safe and quick way to manage and monitor my credit. So we'll just hit OK in there. And now we have a checkbox. We have a nice looking form created very easily. Now that we have the form and the uh, strap line created, I want to create an area for some testimonials. So I'm just going to drag in another well container here below the form and the strap line. Uh, and I'm just going to change the background a little bit, make it stick out. It's going to sort of look like a footer for our landing page. So I'll just make it kind of contour with the other blue color. Next, I'm going to drag in another couple of columns. I'm going to have two testimonials, one on the left and one on the right. They're going to be very simple. So the first thing I want to do is drag in an image. So I'm just going to go to thumbnail and drag in thumbnail. Next, after that, I want to add some text. So I'm just going to go up to the paragraph and drag that in. Now, I already have some testimonial that I'm just going to paste in here to save some time. Once I have that pasted in, I need one more paragraph to put in a user's name, make it seem like someone actually said those words. Now keep in mind this tutorial is for demonstration purposes only. So if you're going to use a uh, testimonial in your landing page, just make sure that you're not just pulling it out of nowhere. Uh, make sure that your landing pages are compliant so you don't get kicked off of any offers. 
So for the right, we're just going to duplicate what we did on the left column. So we'll just put in a thumbnail, then we'll place in a paragraph uh, container. I'm just going to paste in the same thing from before. Then we'll place in another paragraph container that's going to contain the name and the location of the user. Again, just something I pulled out. You're going to want to make sure that you're using compliant methods in your landing pages. So once we have that placed, then we can paste in our own images. So I have some images here that I made before. So I'm just going to drag that into the thumbnail, pull out the image that exists, and then do the same thing on the left. So we'll just drag that in and we'll pull out the thumbnail. Uh, now these images still exist within the thumbnail container, so we just need to adjust the container a little bit. And once we have that selected, we'll change the width. And we have everything that looks really tight and neat. Now that I have everything all set up, I just want to quickly create a border for my uh, landing page so it doesn't seem like it's just kind of floating out in white space. So I've just changed that a little bit to a darker blue. Just need to change the thickness and we're good to go. The next thing I want to just bring up the body of the signing page to match with the headline. So uh, I have the margin just changed a little bit. Then I'm just going to add a border to my headline. And once we have that all adjusted, we have just an all right landing page. So we're just going to go over to file generate at H, all HTML and CSS. And once we have everything all set, we'll just click download as zip file. Well, thank you everyone for watching. That's it for this tutorial. If you enjoyed this video or any of our other posts, feel free to like us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter to get the latest updates and insights in performance marketing. Thank you once again and take care.